What if I told you that a battery could be almost completely full or completely empty at 12.8 volts? I've got a rack of equipment right behind me that allows me to do a very precision test. I'm going to compare a charge curve versus a discharge curve, and you're going to see that they're nowhere near the same. But we're going to show you an awesome device that can show you state of charge in a very accurate manner. In front of the spotlight today is an SOK battery, 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a very common battery that we sell. I also have a set of Anderson connectors here. These are essentially quick connectors I use for my test equipment. They've got ring terminals on the end. This allows me to just hook onto the battery and interface with my test equipment really easily. And then over here I have my uh, wires. These go to my data acquisition unit. I'll show you that just in a moment. So I'm going to be measuring voltage right at the terminals of the battery. And then this heavy cable is going to be drawing a constant load from the batteries. For our current monitoring and capacity testing, we're using this 200 amp, 100 millivolt shunt that then goes into the same data acquisition unit that the voltage measurement wires are going into. We're ready to start our data log. So if I go up to channel three here, I'm gonna set this for 50 amps. It's gonna dissipate that power as heat and we're gonna log what happens as we drain it. And you can see our voltage has already dropped significantly just in a couple of seconds. So now we're gonna let this go for a couple hours and come back when it finishes draining the battery completely. So we're just about a minute in, we're already down to 12.8 volts. A lot of you guys have probably seen the chart online that has voltages that correlate to capacity. That's literally what we're proving wrong in this video. Fast forward five hours and we have completed our charge and discharge test. Orange line on top is the charge voltage. So essentially this graph I laid out in a way so that we can analyze it easiest, but the blue line here is how our voltage came down throughout the test, okay? And you can see we stopped just a little bit under 10 and a half volts. And then from there we turned on charge and that graphed this orange line and it's pretty much in reverse. It went backwards if, if you were to figure, okay? I laid it out like this so that you can see the same percentage capacity across the horizontal axis. So up here at the top, I have all these different numbers. Those relate to state of charge capacity. And here we go. If you look right here, right at 99% capacity, we were at 12.83 volts. And then if we come across on that same line, you can see here 12.71 volts, 2.7% state of charge on that battery. So that battery was effectively completely dead at 12.8 volts. I mean, 3% is barely enough to do anything. And we were 99% full as well at 12.8 volts. So that's a great example on why you can't use the voltage. Now, if you analyzed, okay, I'm discharging my battery. I've been going for a bit, so it's definitely on the discharge curve. Yes, you can plug in some various different voltages to determine where you are. But that same voltage in charging, look at all these waves in here. It's not gonna be a very good way to determine. Obviously, voltage is off the table, but that doesn't mean we're out of options. We have two fantastic devices we offer that will give you a precision state of charge of your battery. The first one is the BMV712 by Victron and the Smart Shunt. Now the BMV is nice because it has the display as you can see. It's got a little shunt resistor here. It's essentially a current measuring device. And then the Smart Shunt is the same thing. It just doesn't have the fancy display. It connects to an app on your phone. This is what that Smart Shunt looks like out of the box. So what is it? Well, if I flip it around, we have a element in here, and this just acts as a precision resistor with a little computer on the front to correlate the values to something useful. The old saying goes, don't guess, calculate. So we know our battery's capacity. That is a fixed number. In the case of the battery right here behind me, it's 100 amp hours. What does that mean? Well, that means if we had a 100 amp load, it could run for one hour, but we can calculate that. If we had a 50 amp load, it would go two hours. If we had a 10 amp load, it'd go 10 hours. And five amp load, 20 hours, so on and so forth. That's all fine and good if our loads are constant, but in the real world, they aren't. When you flip on a light switch, your load has changed. So let's say you were draining at five amps, 
you were thinking you could go 20 hours. Now you're drawing six amps. Ah, we got to do the math. No, have a computer do it. That's the purpose of the Smart Shunt. It does the math for you. So essentially, you've programmed in the battery's capacity. It's watched what you've drained from it and what you've put into it for charge. And from there, it just keeps track of all that and calculates the capacity. Pretty awesome device. If you're getting into lithium iron batteries, it is one of the first things people forget. But add a shunt, know your state of charge, and stop guessing. Now I hope you learned something in today's video. If you'd like a tutorial showing how to hook up and program the Victron Smart Shunt, which also applies to the BMV 712, click the video on the left. If you'd like a random recommendation for our channel, click the video on the right. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.